Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is a plus square root of b, this is equal to 11. Let's call this equation 1. A square root of a plus b, this is equal to 7, let's call this equation 2. What is the value of a and what is the value of b? And given that a and b, these are members of natural numbers. Now, Let's prevent the solution from here. So the first thing to do here, let's subtract equation 1 with equation 2. So this implies that we have a plus square root of b. Subtract, here we have square root of a plus b. This is equal to 11 minus 7. So here we have a plus square root of b. Then subtract, here we have square root of a. Then we have minus times plus b. So this becomes minus b. This is equal to 11 minus 7, which is equal to 4. Now, this implies that here we have a minus b, then plus, here we have square root of b, so here we have square root of b, subtract square root of a from here, this is equal to 4. The next step from here, the next step from here, we can express a, we can express a as square root of a, raised to power 2. So we can express a as square root of a squared. So this implies that a we have square root of a squared, then subtract square root of b squared. Now, then subtract into the parentheses, we have square root of a, subtract square root of b. This is equal to 4. So you find that square root of a squared minus square root of b squared, this is in the form of a squared minus b squared, which you can express as a plus b, then a minus b. Now applying this identity, then this implies that we have the square root of a plus square root of b. Then here we have square root of a, subtract square root of b from here, then subtract into the parentheses square root of a minus square root of b. This is equal to 4. Then you find that square root of a minus square root of b is common here, so we can factor out square root of a minus square root of b, so that into the parentheses we have square root of a plus square root of b, then subtract 1, cross the bracket a, this is equal to 4. So from here, we have two parts here, that is square root of a minus square root of b, and we have square root of a plus square root of b minus 1, this is equal to 4. Now, we have that, we can get the prime factors of 4, remember we can say that 4 times 1, this is the same thing as 4, Remember, we can also say 1 times 4, this is the same thing as 4. Then we have that 2 times 2, this is the same thing as 4. So, we have square root of A minus square root of B. Then here, we have square root of A plus square root of B minus 1. So, this implies that we have three cases here. This is the first case, this is the second case, and this is the third case. So let's solve case 1, case 2, and case 3. Now let's start with case 1 from here. We have the square root of A minus square root of B. Then here we have square root of A plus square root of B minus 1. This is equal to 4 times 1. 
So we have square root of a minus square root of b. This is equal to 4. And that's square root of a plus square root of b minus 1. This is equal to 1. So this implies that this is the first part a and this is the second part. So from the second part a, we have square root of a plus square root of b. This is equal to, let's take minus 1 on the right hand side. So this is 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2. Therefore, we have square root of a minus square root of b. This is equal to 4. And we have this part a which is square root of a plus square root of b. This is equal to 2. So we have two systems of ring equation from here which we can be able to, we can add these two systems of ring equations. So square root of a plus square root of a, this is 2 square root of a. Then minus square root of b plus, plus square root of b, this simplifies. This is equal to 4 plus 2, which is equal to 6. So let's divide by 2 from here. So that now we have that square root of a is equal to 3. So this means that to solve for a, we square both sides. And this implies that we have that a is equal to 3 squared, which is equal to 9. So we have the value of a here. So let's solve for the value of b. Remember we have square root of a minus square root of b. This is equal to 4. So this implies that we have square root of 9 minus square root of b this is equal to 4 square root of 9 this is equal to 3 so 3 minus square root of b this is equal to 4 let's take 3 on the right hand side so we have minus square root of b this is equal to 4 minus 3 so here we have minus square root of b this is equal to 4 minus 3 which is equal to 1 so let's divide both sides by minus and also here by minus. So we have that square root of b. This is equal to minus 1. So let's square both sides to get the value of b. And this implies that b is equal to 1. Therefore, we have that a comma b. This is equal to 9 and 1. Now, from here, we can be able to verify that A and B in case 1, that's 9, 1, satisfies the equation. Now, if we substitute this, we have the square root of A from equation 1 plus square root of B. This is supposed to give us a value of 11. So substituting A and B, we have square root of 9 plus square root of B, which is 1. This is supposed to give us a value of 11. So square root of 9, this is 3 plus square root of 1, which is 1. This is supposed to give us a value of 11. So in this case, we have 4, which is not equal to 11. So in other words, the first solution here, which is 9, 1, does not, this does not satisfy the equation. This does not satisfy the equation. So this implies that the first set of solution A, B, which is 9, 1, this is, this is rejected from here. So let's proceed to case 2 from here. So in case 2 here, we have square root of A, subtract square root of B, multiplied by square root of A, plus square root of B, minus 1. This is equal to 1 times 4. So this implies that square root of A minus square root of B, this is equal to 1. And that square root of A plus square root of B subtract 1, this is equal to 4. So we can take minus 1 on the right hand add from here. We have square root of A minus square root of b, this is equal to 1. And here we'll have square root of a plus square root of b, this is equal to minus 1. If you take on the right hand side, this is 4 plus 1. 
so that now we have square root of a minus square root of b this is equal to 1 and we have square root of a plus square root of b this is equal to 5 again here we have two system of linear equations so we can add these two systems of linear equations square root of a plus square root of a so this is 2 square root of a then minus square root of b plus square root of b this simplifies so this is equal to 1 plus 5 this is equal to 6 again we divide here by 2 so that now here we have square root of a is equal to 3 so to solve for a we square both sides so that now we have that a is equal to 9 to solve for b, we substitute in one of the equation here. So we have square root of 9 minus square root of b. This is equal to 1. So square root of 9, this is 3 minus square root of b. This is equal to 1. Let's take 3 on the right hand side. So we have minus square root of b. This is equal to 1 minus 3. So in this case, we have minus square root of b. This is equal to 1 minus 3, which is equal to minus 2. Divide both signs by minus, so that now square root of b, this is equal to 2. To solve for b here, we square both signs. So that now, we have that the value of b from here is equal to 2 squared, which is equal to 4. So we have the second set of solution here, that is a comma b, which is equal to 9 and 4. We have 9 and 4. So let's check if this set of solution in case 2 satisfies the equation. Now let's verify that the set of solution in case 2, that is 9 and 4, satisfies the equation so let's verify here we have that the square root of that is a plus square root of b this should give us a value of 11 and that square root of a plus b this is supposed to give us a value of 7 let's let's substitute the value of a and b so we have from the first equation here this is the first equation and this is the second equation the first equation here, we have 9 plus square root of b. b is 4. This is supposed to give us a value of 11. So here we have 9 plus square root of 4, which is 2. This is supposed to give us 11. So 9 plus 2, this is 11, which is equal to 11. So this implies that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. And therefore, the first equation here is satisfied. The second equation will have the square root of a, which is square root of 9, plus b, which is 4. This is supposed to give us a value of 7. So square root of 9, this is 3, plus 4. This is supposed to give us a value of 7 from here. 3 plus 4, this is 7, which is equal to 7. And therefore, the second equation is also satisfied. And this implies that this set of solution here satisfies the equation. So let's solve the last case here, that is case 3. In case 3, we have the square root of A minus square root of B multiplied by square root of A plus square root of B minus 1. This is actually equal to 2 times 2. So here we have square root of a minus square root of b. This is equal to 2. And we have that square root of a plus square root of b minus 1. This is equal to 2. So this is the first equation here. Now from the second equation here, we can write this as square root of a plus square root of b. This is equal to, let's take minus 1 on the right hand side. So this becomes 2 plus 1, which is equal to 3. So therefore, we have two set of ring equations here. That is square root of a minus square root of b. This is equal to 2. And here we have square root of a plus square root of b. This is equal to 3. So let's add these two systems of ring equations. 
So square root of a plus square root of a, this is 2 square root of a. Then minus square root of b plus plus square root of b here, yeah, this simplifies. This is equal to 2 plus 3 and this is equal to 5. So here, if we define by 2, this implies that square root of a is equal to 5 over 2. And even before we proceed further here, this is not a natural number. You find that 5 over 2 here, this is not a natural number. So that implies that case 3 is rejected from here. Case 3 is rejected from here. So this implies that we have only one solution, which is a, b, which is 9, 4. So this is the only solution that we have for this algebra problem. This is the only solution that we have. That is 9, 4. This is the only solution for this algebra problem. So can you follow the steps? Like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.